Hey, grillers and smokers and cooking enthusiasts. I'm Jody Flanagan, your Rec Tech Grills expert. Today, we're going to be cooking up this delicious spiral cut ham provided by Peterson's Farms. So we've teamed up with our friends at Peterson's Farms. They provided us with this delicious five pound spiral cut ham. I mean, this thing is MSG free, nitrate free, gluten free, lactose free. This thing is minimally handled before it's packaged. This is the type of ham you wanna feed your friends and family when they come over for dinner. So this ham is already fully cooked. I could literally take slices off of this and put it on a sandwich and eat it and I will be just fine. We are essentially going to reheat this and add a little bit of smoke flavor to it. So first I'm just going to give a little bit of olive oil just to give it uh, something for our screaming pig rub to stick to. Now Ron's screaming pig rub, it's got a little heat to it, it's also got a little sweet and savory elements. Uh, it'll go great uh, with that glaze that we put on here later. Now when you're reheating or smoking these hams you don't want to go too high because that sugar can burn. So we've got this delicious ham seasoned up already. It's gonna go in the RT340. Now that grill has 340 square inches of cooking surface, enough for about two or three of these bad boys. It also has that ceramic ignition system, so it's gonna light absolutely every time. Stainless steel components, so it's not gonna warp rust, corrode, or fade on you. That grill's gonna last you a lifetime. We're gonna throw it into the RT340 at about 325 degrees, and we're gonna let it reach an internal of 140 degrees. While our spiral ham gets a smoke bath, now's a good time to go ahead and assemble our glaze. So we've got a half a cup brown sugar, quarter cup orange juice, two to three tablespoons of delicious uh, Dijon mustard, or today we're using coarse brown, about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then I like to throw in a little honey just to give it that extra oomph. Yeah, about three to four tablespoons. Mix this well. And about 30 minutes before we pull off the spiral ham, we're gonna glaze it up with this delicious glaze, give it that extra oomph of flavor. All right, our ham is finished up. We took it off the grill at about 140 degrees. Uh, then we tinted it with some aluminum foil for about 10 minutes, let it cool kind of down a little bit. Uh, but it looks absolutely amazing. Uh, we basted it uh, with that glaze about every five to 10 minutes. Uh, and then when I put it on the board, I gave it a little bit more glaze at the end uh, just to sweeten it up. But it looks absolutely amazing. It's got a great aroma to it. We want to send a uh, special thank you to Peterson's for sending us this. Um, they are absolutely some of the most premium meats uh, that I've ever tasted. Oh, man. They just handle the animal less. There's a lot less nitrates. Um, gosh. And then that RT340 gave it some great smoke flavor. It also held a temperature perfectly. Oh man, get some of that glaze on there. Mm, wow. We started out with a great product and just enhanced it even more. That ultimate blend pellet, a mixture of red oak, white oak, and hickory gave it some amazing flavor. But again, the most important part, the RT340 held temperature just like we wanted it to, right on the dot, using that PID controller. Oh man, this is some really, really good ham. Uh, again, thank you so much to Peterson Farms. Uh, you guys, have a great rest of the week. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you at the Rectech.